when assessing passive movement the therapist should apply over pressure at the end of the range of motion to determine the quality of end feel it is known as end feel or you can simply say that it is sensation the therapist feels in the joint as it reaches the end of the range of motion proper evaluation of end feel can help the therapist to assess the type of pathology present and indirectly it is a lot helpful hello namaste viewers in today's session we are going to discuss about end feel how to check end feel classification of end feel examples of normal and pathological end feels and the significance of checking the end feel end feel is classified into two types normal end feel and abnormal end feel it can be helpful to determine a prognosis severity or stage of the problem normal end feel is classified into five types first one is bony or hard end feel second one is capsular or firm end feel third one is ligamentous or firm end feel fourth one is muscular or firm end feel and the fifth one is soft tissue approximation or soft end feel the firm end feels will have a little creep to them tissue stretch is the most common type of normal end feel it is found when the capsule and ligaments are primary restraint to movements now what are the causes of all the normal end feels first one start with bony end feel it is due to bone to bone approximation second one capsular end feel it is due to capsular stretch third one is ligamentous end feel it is due to ligamentous stretch muscular end feel is due to muscle tendon unit and the last one soft tissue approximation end feel it is due to contact of muscle bulk on either side of the joint now starting with what is the resistance felt of all the normal end feels in bony end feel we feel hard or abrupt stop type of resistance in capsular end feel we feel firm stop with slight creep or give third one in ligamentous end feel we feel firm stop with no creep or give in muscular end feel we feel rubbery or elastic feel at the end of the range of motion and last one in soft tissue approximation we feel soft or spongy resistance at the end of the range of motion now starting with some commonest examples of all the normal end feels first bony end feel here the best example is elbow extension when we check elbow extension at the end of the range of motion we feel hard bony end feel that is due to bone approximates with the bone next one is capsular end feel the best example is knee extension with hip extended so here we feel capsular end feel during this motion and the dorsal glide of mcp joint so here whenever we do dorsal glide of mcp joint or during mcp extension the end feel is capsular type of end feel in ligamentous type of end feel it is vola glide of mcp or flexion of the mcp joint so whenever we do flexion of the mcp joint the end feel felt is ligamentous type of end feel or simply whenever we evert our ankle joint the end feel which is felt that is ligamentous type of end feel next one is muscular end feel whenever we do straight leg raising which is called as slr that time the end feel which is felt that is muscular type because the further range of slr is prevented by the tightness of hamstring muscle or else the another example is hip abduction because the further range of motion of hip abduction is prevented by the adductor muscles so that is due to muscular end feel next one is soft tissue approximation type of end feel the best example is elbow flexion whenever we el do elbow flexion that time due to the muscle bulk of biceps the further elbow flexion range is prevented so that's why the range of motion is limited and due to that the end feel felt is soft end feel the same is with knee flexion with hip flexed so during this time also the end feel felt is soft tissue approximation type of end feel now starting with some common abnormal end feels so here several of which have divisions each of which is commonly associated with some degree of pain or restricted range of motion or movement so basically abnormal end feels are classified into 10 sub types first one is capsular form end feel that is at the short of end range second one is bogy or soft end feel that is due to swelling 
third type of end feel is spasm end feel the end feel is felt as firm fourth one is empty end feel so here the patient is the one stopping the motion due to pain fifth one is loose or soft end feel again sixth one is springy or firm end feel seventh one is bony block or grating type of end feel that is the example of abnormal hard end feel eighth one is joint adhesion type of end feel and that is the example of abnormal firm end feel again ninth one is abnormal cartilaginous end feel that is felt as hard or firm as per the tissue of action tenth one is pinus or soft type of end feel and it feels squeaky now let's see the causes of the abnormal end feels first one is capsular end feel or firm end feel so this end feel is felt is due to tight capsule for example in frozen shoulder we feel abnormal or pathological capsular form and feel second one is bogy soft and feel that is due to intra or extra articular fluid accumulation in the joint third one is spasmodic or form and feel so this type of and feel is felt due to reflex and reactive muscle contraction fourth one is empty and feel and here the range of motion is prevented due to pain Fifth one is loose or soft end feel. The best example of this is injury to ligament or capsule. Sixth one is springy form end feel. This type of end feel is felt due to internal derangement. The best example of this is meniscus injury. Seventh one is bony block or hard type of pathological end feel, and here it is felt due to bony callus formation. For example, osteoarthritis of knee. Eighth one is joint adhesion formed and feel that is felt due to adhesion in the capsule of ligaments. Ninth one is abnormal cartilaginous end feel that can be felt as hard or firm, and it is due to roughening of the articular cartilage. Tenth one is pinus soft end feel, and this can be due to synovial infold or entrapment of the fat pad in the joint. Now let's see. what are the type of resistance we feel whenever we are checking for pathological end feels first one capsular form pathological end feel so here whenever you are checking end feel you will feel firm stop with reduced or absent creep second one is bogy soft end feel here the end feel felt is soft mushy or bogy type of end feel in spasmodic form end feel you will feel abrupt stop with rebound type of motion whenever the spasmodic end feel is present at the end of the range fourth one is empty end feel so here while checking you will not feel any type of restriction to the range of motion but the further range of motion is stopped by pain whenever you are checking for pathological soft loose end feel here you will feel increased movement without firm arrest sixth one is springy form end feel so here whenever you are checking for this type of end feel you will feel springy rebound or the limb will bounce back so basically this is seen in meniscus injuries seventh one is bony block or hard end feel that is a type of pathological end feel again and here you will feel sudden hard abrupt stop at the end of the range of motion and it can be felt before the normal range of motion completion or at the end of the range of motion eighth one is joint adhesion type of firm end feel pathological end feel here you will feel sudden firm stop of the movement in only one direction ninth one is abnormal cartilaginous end feel which can be felt as hard or firm and it can be feel as rough or grating type of feeling tenth one is pinus soft end feel and here you will feel soft feeling with crunchy squid now let me explain you some commonest pathological end feel in detail first one is spasmodic end feel so this end feel is invoked by movement with a sudden dramatic arrest of the movement often accompanied by pain the end feel is sudden and hard the early muscle spasm occurs early in the range of motion almost as soon as the movement starts and this type of muscle spasm is associated with inflammation and which is seen in more of the acute conditions a late muscle spasm occurs at or near the end of the range of motion and it is usually caused by instability of the joint or it results from inability to 
cause the movement. Next, most common pathological end feel is capsular type of end feel. So this end feel is similar to the tissue stretch, which is present earliest in the range of motion and the range of motion is reduced. This end feel can be classified into hard capsular in which the end feel has a thicker stretching quality to it and the soft capsular which is felt as bogey which is similar to the normal tissue stretch and feel but with a restricted range of motion. Third one is bone to bone or hard end feel. This type of abnormal end feel is similar to the normal bone to bone type but the restriction occurs before the end of the range of motion means the patient is not able to reach to the end of the normal range. The best example is bone to bone end feel is cervical spine resulting from the osteophyte formation. Starting with empty end feel. This feel is detected when the movement produces considerable pain and the movement cannot be performed or the patient stops doing the movement because of the pain. Here the feel is not felt only due to pain the patient is not able to perform the movement. Fifth one is springy block type of end feel. It is very similar to the tissue stretch but most commonly it is found in the joints with menisci. Here you will feel the rebound effect with a thick stretching feel that it is not stretchy as a hard capsular end feel. It usually indicates an internal derangement within the joint. The example is springy block end feel can be found in the torn meniscus as we discussed earlier in the knee and the knee becomes locked and the patient is not able to go into full extension. Now let's see the significance of checking end feel. An appropriate assessment of end feel can support the examiner to assess the type of pathology present. To identify the limiting structures and choose a focused and effective treatment. It will even determine a prognosis for the condition and it is even important to learn the severity of the stage of the problem. By determining the pain or restriction, this is the main problem, the examiner can determine if a more gentle treatment should be given to a joint, for example, pain predominating or more of a vigorous treatment means restriction predominantly. What are the examples of abnormal end feels? The best example of pathological capsular firm end feel is abnormal range of motion in capsular pattern. For bogey or soft end feel, it is felt due to joint effusion or sometimes due to synovitis. Spasmodic firm end feel, it is present in protective guarding following a joint injury. Empty end feel is felt as we discussed earlier, movement stopped at insistence of pain. Loose or soft end feel is present in grade 2 ligament sprains, torn capsules with hypermobility. Springy firm end feel is present whenever the loose bodies are present in the joint or in the cases of displaced meniscus. Bony block heart end feel is present for example in myositis ossificans. Joint adhesion type of firm end feel is present for example in adhesion of post capsule of the knee, posterior capsule. Abnormal cartilaginous hard or firm end feel is present, for example, in the cases of chondromalacia patella. Penis soft type of pathological end feel is felt in the entrapment of post fat pad on elbow extension, means posterior fat pad. Now it's time for some tricks. Examination of end feel, how to do and how to document the examination of end feel. It takes practice and sensitivity to build a capacity to decide the kind of end feel. So whenever you are assessing the passive range of motion, as a therapist, you should apply overpressure of each passive range of motion at the end of the range of motion to determine the quality of the end feel. Means the feeling of the examiner feels in the joint as it reaches the end of range of motion. Passive range of motion, especially toward the end of the motion, have to be carried out slowly and carefully whenever we are testing for the feeling of the end. You are supposed to secure the stabilization of the proximal bone to the joint being tested, which is critical to preventing multiple joints and structure from moving and interfering with the final feeling determination. 
To be sure, it is not causing severe symptoms if the patient is able to hold a position without causing the symptoms at the end of the physiological range of motion and range of active movement or if the symptoms quickly ease after returning to the resting position then the end feeling can be tested. Pain with a pathological final feeling is common. If the patient has severe pain at the end, the end feeling should be tested with extreme care only. If you have any questions or suggestions for us, you can write down in the comment section below. We will try to reply as soon as we can. Thank you for watching today's video. See you soon next time. Stay tuned for that. And if you like today's video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe us.